Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to show you how I play this extended version of the song Contine d'un autre été from the movie Amélie Poulain. I showed you in the last two parts how to play the most well-known uh, version of this song, but I stopped after the part where we would do the same thing one octave higher, basically. So I showed you this part. This whole section, then we went over to this. And then after that section we had... If you want to see how to play that, check out the last video. I'll show you there how to play it. Now I find the extended version that I play more enjoyable to play it. It's harder, it's more challenging and I don't play it perfectly. But there's a lot of variation in it and it's... it's much more fun to play, I believe. I'm gonna show you how to play it, though I'm not going to try and exactly count everything that I'm doing, because first of all, it's very hard to do the playing and counting at the same time sometimes, um, but also, I think sometimes it's better to listen to the music and, and try to feel the music, rather than trying to count everything. I think it might help to be able to count sometimes, but it might just take longer actually to learn it if you count this than trying to just listen and play it. It feels natural once you get the hang of this timing. And I didn't learn it myself by counting. I learned it by listening and trying to play it by myself and figuring it out like that, just exercising. The first part that I'm gonna show you is basically the same thing that I showed you in the last video, part two, but one octave higher and with some slight minor differences. Now, I will add to this, to the shorter version of this song, there, it is exactly the same as I showed you last week, one octave higher. There's basically no difference, but in the part that I'm playing, there are some slight differences and I'm gonna show you in a minute. So, we have the same melody that comes back. But the second time that we play it, we add another note. In the first little section, the first chord, I add the E. This is the E5. One, two, three, four, the E5. At certain points, we play it like this. Okay? Try to play that one more time. Try it slowly, then go faster. For the next part, and for the next three parts actually, I'm gonna use the D instead of the E. Next. Okay, so the melody here is exactly the same as the part one octave lower, but we add another note sometimes. So it's pretty subtle, it's not that we really need to give an accent to that note, but it's just something that fits there. It's, it's added, but it's not taking over the melody. Then, for the next part, we have this. But there is a variation. Instead of just playing these notes like we did an octave lower, I add a couple of notes extra. Okay. So we play E, B, E, B, D, B, okay? Then we go over to the F. I play another two extra notes, D, E, F. So we build up towards it, and then we play the A5. So this section is F sharp. Okay, the next part is the same as before. It's quicker of towards that I'm playing now, it's not that quick, but it's the same as the octave lower that we did last video. Then the next part, this one, is exactly the same as the one we played one octave lower. 
So until now, we had slight variations in comparison to part two that I showed you. Now for this next part, that is an entirely new section, we will hold our thumb and pinky finger basically the whole time on an octave, one octave apart from each other. And I'm gonna show you in which part we don't need to do that anymore. But this part is pretty big, so let's pay attention to this. We have these four notes, G, B, E, and G, all right? And we're gonna switch between those. We're gonna play triplets as well, but we're gonna have a little bit more of a different order of these notes than with this. All right? Look at the order in which I play these notes, slowly. You see I'm going up to the A6 for these last couple of notes, right? So pay attention to that. It's a transition to the next chord, let's say. For the next chord, the only difference is instead of the E with my ring finger, I'm going to play the D with my middle finger. And it's basically the same order, but instead of going up with these last notes, I'm gonna go down to the D instead. Okay? So not this, but this. So, but the order of the notes stays the same, slowly. A little bit faster it sounds like this. For the next chord I'm gonna move my hand a little bit between the black notes. It's easier to play that way. My thumb and pinky go to the F sharps and my index on the B, middle finger on the D. Same order of the notes, slowly, and we end this chord on... Okay, slowly we get... Okay, a little bit quicker. For the last chord, I'm gonna move my index finger from the B to the A, and I'm gonna play the D with my ring finger instead of with my middle finger. Okay, a little bit quicker. So we end it on, instead of. After this, I'm going to play this whole section again. Okay, so after that we go down and do another variation of this. Order of the notes stays the same, but we start at a different position. Thumb and pinky finger on the E's, index finger on the G, middle finger on the B. Then I'm gonna move over, thumb and pinky finger on the D's, index finger stays on the G, ring finger, on the B. Then I'm gonna play exactly the same thing, but instead of the G with my index finger, I'm gonna play the F sharp. Exactly the same for the next chord, but instead of the B with my ring finger, the A with my middle finger. And then I'm gonna repeat this process, this variation as well. So this section that we've done is basically the most challenging part in this extended version. But the next part is not easy either. We're gonna still work in octaves. We go down with our thumb and pinky finger to the Bs. I'm gonna play the E in between, okay? The different positions that we're gonna take, the different notes that we're gonna take, is we start with this. Then I'm gonna play the G instead of the B. I'm gonna switch back. And now I'm gonna play E, B, E, octave B, and octave C. 
as a transition to the next chord, that is. So it sounds like this. Okay? Again. Okay? For the next chord, the thumb and pinky finger stay on the same Bs, but my index finger moves from the E to the D. And the rest basically stays the same. The order of the notes also. But instead, at the end, going up to the C, we're going down to the A. Okay? We get this. Okay? So playing these two after one another, we get this. Okay? Then we go down with the thumb and pinky finger to the F sharps and the B in between together with the D in between. And guys, because of this extended version, it will probably be a pretty long video. Now this timing is a little bit easier and we only play this chord until the last note, then we go up to the G's in an octave as well. So we have this. Okay. And then for the next we go to the B's with thumb and pinky finger and in between the D with my index finger and the F sharp with my middle finger. And go down to the G's. So the timing of these last two chords are the same. Then I'm going to repeat this whole section but with a slight difference. And the second time that I play this, in the first two chords, I'm gonna leave out the E and the D one time. Check out the difference between and between this. I leave out this one E in between. And I'm gonna do the same with the next chord. And the next two chords are the same as before. So for the first time... Second time... And I'm not going to play this last note. I'm going to leave that one out. So that was a bit of a tricky part, I suppose. The next part is not with octaves anymore. So we can relax a little bit more when it comes to spreading our hand out all of the time, right? Not with our left hand though. We still keep playing the same thing with our left hand. The next part is actually playing uh, these chords in different positions every time. So the first chord that we always play here is the E minor. But you can play this in different positions. We're going to play them actually in every of these positions basically the same with the next chord which is the G chord but we're starting above so we're making our way up with the E minor chord and then we're making our way back down with the G chord making our way back up with the B minor chord and way back down with the D chord Okay? Now, in the first one, for the E minor chord, we start with this version, so with my thumb on the G4, and then going three steps higher. One, two, three. Okay? I'm gonna make my way down through the G chord and starting with this position, with my thumb on the B5, and going four steps lower. So, from this point on, one, two, three, four. Okay? Then to the B minor, I'm just going to move my thumb to the F sharp. And then four steps higher. One, two, three, four. From there, I'm going to play the D chord. Just move my thumb to the A, five. And then from there, four steps lower. One, two, three, four. Okay? Then I'm going to repeat that with the only difference is that with the E minor chord, this time I'm going to play four steps higher instead of three. So instead of doing one, two, three, I'm gonna add one here, all right? 
but the rest is the same. Of course, we need to combine this with our left hand. And like I said, I'm not going to count this, but feel it. I'm gonna play it slowly. But I'm gonna tell you that we're starting every chord on the second count, on the two count. So, five, six, seven, eight, and... Second time. Okay. And this is where the entirely new section from the extended version ends. From here on out, we play a variation again from the original part, which is this. Okay, so this is basically the same as we did before. This is exactly the same thing that I played in part two, which was the last video. We're only going to play this section one time in this octave, instead of two times in the last video that I showed. Because after that, we're gonna move one octave up like I showed you in the beginning of this video. And again, I'm going to add this extra note. But a couple of slight differences here as well. And I'm gonna show you how to play it. This is the same, here not. You see this decoration that I give? So the first two little sections are the same, that's the same, that's also the same. The difference starts here, okay? So after this, I wait a fraction of a second before I play it with my ring finger, the B, C with my pinky finger, and I end with thumb and ring finger like that on the D and the B. And then I'm going to play the F sharp, but I'm gonna make my way up by playing the D and the E before it. And then I'm gonna play the E and the F again. Like that. So, if we play the after a note, we get this. That's the same. That also, but now, Right? But basically it's the same melody, right? But then the next part... I'm not going to play this. I'm going to go over right away to the part where I play two notes together. And there is only one slight difference in this part, and that is, that's the same, that's also the same, but now, so you saw the extra E that I played here, okay, that's just something extra, like this. Now. I play that again. Watch out. And then we have the same thing like we saw in the last video. Right? And the way we end is just on the chord like this. Which is some kind of arpeggio, but we hold the chord. Right there, okay? So after we play this the second time, because it's two times in a row. Okay. So the only difference that you notice is in the last chord, I end on the G. So we have this chord. G.
and then I go to the E minor chord as an arpeggio but hold it. So guys, that is basically the whole entire extended version of this song. I will put a link in the description of a video um, where you can see more in detail how to play it, where you can play along. Like these videos where they play it and you see the notes passing by in different colors. Uh, and that's actually how I got to learn it. Um, perhaps it can also help you. This is a very extended video. If you want to play this, it's a lot of fun, uh, but it takes some time to get it right. Okay, if you have any questions for me, put it in the comment section down below. If you want me to play some other songs, then suggest them to me. I might try to do it. I think for the next soundtrack or so that I play on piano, I can show you some other tracks. Uh, I have a couple in mind, but I'll see when I'll be able to do that. Perhaps in the meantime, I can do some more guitar tutorials as well. It's been a while. But anyways, guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye. It's harder, it's more challenging, and I don't, um, but some, so the melody here is, this ex but it's the same as, the next part is actually the exact, we will hoard up, and I'm gonna tell you, uh, then we're gonna go a little bit for, but instead of going up on the eighth, but instead of at the, so playing, so playing T, so playing, so that was a bit, I'm gonna, my, from there, I'm gonna, Go five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Five, six. Don't forget to subscribe, like.